we can go back up to our object, we can pick it up, and now when I press the trigger, it moves between both animations. Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is gonna be part four, I believe, of the VR hands tutorial series or playlist. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link in the corner or one of the corners and you'll be able to check it out. And um, what we've got is we've got the ability to pick up objects and select which animation we use so far. I also have a, cust a couple of other animations set up in this example. But before we get started, we do need to set up some stuff with the cubes. I've already done this and I've got a video on how you can set it up. So I'll leave that in the corner as well now. So it should pop up there. But what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create two custom inputs. So edit project settings. Inputs, I've got trigger left and then trigger right using my Oculus Touch controllers. We're gonna need these to fire our custom blueprint blend essentially. To set this up real quick, all you need to do is go to your blueprints, pick up actor interface, select, uh, create two new functions called interact and stop interact. And we're gonna add them to our pickup cube. So you can see they just come in as events. And then what we need to do is go to our motion controller font and set up this little block here. So I've got our custom input event, trigger left. And we get our left controller, we get the attached actor, and then we set our interact and stop interact. And this just allows us to interact with the object while we're holding it. So let's say you've got a gun, you can hold it with the grip button, and then you can press the trigger and do some other stuff. So that's pretty much it for setting that up. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create some new animations. So in the mannequin tab or the mannequin folder in animations, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna create two new ones. So I've already got the first one set up, which is gonna be called trigger safety. It's basically just a point animation with the thumb up as though you were holding it on the side of a gun. Never really held a gun, so I was just kind of guessing that. So pose it as you wish. And then the second one is gonna be our trigger pull. So it's basically gonna be this position of hooked around the trigger. Or I'm just gonna open up our trigger safety, pause on that bar. And then I'm just gonna reposition our index finger to match position of a weapon. So super easy. I'm just gonna bend it in a little bit. And we'll do it about something like that should be all right. And then we do create asset, current pose. And we'll select our folder and we'll call this trigger pull. Hit OK. So now we close it. We actually have our trigger pull animation here. So we've got two. Super easy. Control Shift S to save all. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna need a blend space. So we actually need to make a blend space 1D. So we're gonna right click, go to animation, we're gonna look for blend space 1D, and we're gonna select our right hand skeleton. So this is the skeleton that's used in all of these animations. So mannequin hand, right skeleton. I'm gonna call this BS for blend space. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna to go to animation, blend space 1D, and we're gonna select our right skeleton. So this is the mannequin hand right skeleton. This is essentially the skeleton that's been used for all of these animations. And we need this one, otherwise we won't be able to see our animations. So I'm gonna select right skeleton. I'm gonna call this trigger hole underscore BS for blend space. We'll hit enter. And then now we can actually double click and open up our blend space. And in here, you'll see that we've got a list of animations down the right hand side. I'm gonna select our trigger pull, or actually it'll be our trigger safety, because we need our first animation. And we're gonna drag that all the way to the left of the little graph on the bottom. And then we're gonna take our trigger pull and we're gonna drag it to the right. So now we select this little green icon using left click, we can actually drag and move between both animation poses, which is exactly what we're after. So super easy, we're gonna hit save, close that. We're not actually using the right grip blend space, but you can delete it, but we might as well just leave it there for now. And now what we need to do is actually open up our animation graph or animation blueprint. 
in here we're going to do some stuff so chances are when you open up yours you see this we're actually going to go into our hand pose and we're going to create a new state and we're going to call this blend space I'm going to hit enter and then in here what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our trigger pull blend space connect that up but rather than just using this one value we're actually going to remove the y from this little expose pin and we're going to go to blend space and we're going to expose this so we can actually control which blend spaces we're using from there we're going to right click and we're going to promote the variable for the top one and we're going to call this trigger pull speed and we're going to call this float trigger pull speed it's more like blend space like float like whereabouts it is in the graph but this is pretty much all right for now because it's just doing the trigger stuff then we're going to right click on the blend space pin and we're going to promote this to variable as well and we're going to call this blend space and we're going to call this blend space to use blend space to use bring this down and now we can hit compile and save we're going to move this window over just so i can go back to our blueprints and grip enum and in here we're going to make a new one and we're just going to call this blend space We're going to hit save and we don't need that anymore and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the hand pose and we're going to set up our transition rules so we're going to drag off hand pose to blend space and for this one we might as well just go in and do it we're going to get grip state get grip state equal enum and we're going to set this to blend space plug that in and then if we do the same thing go in the opposite direction from blend space to hand pose we can double click this one, bring in our grip, get to grip state. We're going to do not equal enum and then plug that in and set this to blend space, hit compile and save. And now we can actually jump back into our actor component set hand animation that we created, which controls what we do. The first thing we're going to do is actually clean up some of the code that I added before. So I'm going to remove this set animation pin and I'm going to remove it from the input as well but what we are going to do is make sure set animation is set to true on the float so we don't actually need that anymore and now what we can do and now what we can do is find our right hand and then blueprint drag off that pin and do set blend space to use and we're going to put this in between our cast and our branch. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our blend space to use asset to our custom event so we can actually access it in our pickup object. And then the next thing we need to do is create two custom events. We're going to call the first one trigger pull. So custom event trigger pull and custom event trigger release then all we need to do now is drag off our cast right hand and then blueprint again and we're going to set our trigger pull speed so we're going to need this for both of them so we'll just hook that up and then we'll do the same so set trigger pull speed connect these together and what we're going to do is set the trigger pull to be a value of 100 compile and save and now we can actually go to our pickup object so let me dock this window and we're going to go to our pickup cube and you'll see that there's a compile error this is because we changed that boolean so you can right click on it and just go reset to default value and you can see now we actually have our blend space set up so we're going to right click and promote this to a variable i'm going to call this blend space to use or actually we could do bs to use so we know what it is and we're going to hook that up to the release one as well what we do need to do is make sure this blend space to use is public so we can actually edit it in game so with that little bit set up we can actually go down and we're going to bring in our actor component as a reference and we'll do trigger pull and then we're going to search for trigger release so we'll hook them up like so. So now what we can do is actually hit compile and we go into our motion graph, you'll see that we have our blend space to use. 
All we need to do now is actually set our animation to use to be blend space. And then we can select our blend space that we created from our list. So we can do trigger pull. And now if we save and jump in, we can go up to our object and we can pick it up and it plays our trigger animation. And we can actually press the trigger to blend between our animations. You'll see that it's actually snapping pretty quickly, but we can fix that really easily. So if we go back to the engine and we're gonna to go to our animations folder and open up the blend space that we created. In asset details, we're gonna change target weight interpolation speed per second which is a mouthful, to 15. This is the sweet spot that I find is quite nice, but you can play around with this value to, to mix it up. The lower the number, the faster it is, the higher, the slower. So now if we jump back in and we hit play, we can go back up to our object, we can pick it up. And now when I press the trigger, it moves between both animations. So that's pretty much it for this video on how to set up custom animations for trigger pulls. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe or even share the playlist. Be really helpful for, I think everybody's starting out with VR Dev. If you're new to VR Dev and you want some help or just somewhere to hang out and chat, then please seriously head over to the Discord. It's linked in the description. We've just, we're just over 350 members now. So it's getting a pretty good community. And yeah, if you do want access to these files, I'll be uploading them now to Patreon. So it'll be available for the thank you tier and above. So if you don't want to do all of this hassle and just want to just want to download it, then you can do that there. So look forward to seeing you next time and stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.